Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Valentine's treats for you. This is the I Love Every Layer of You cake-shaped Belgian chocolates. And I have the Haribo Golden Bears. This, they were two different prices at Walmart, at, uh, I'm sorry, at Target. Completely um, different prices. <laughs> yes, uh, the Haribo were only a dollar for the bag. And these were kind of pricey. The cake-shaped Belgian chocolates were $8. They were $7.99. So, I'm gonna, there's a piece of tape here. Oh no, you can do it like this. There we go. So you open it like this. And it has it has two of the same thing. So you get, do you wanna say? I'm sorry, go ahead. It has two strawberry and cream with red chocolate stripes. Uh, brownie cookie with thank you <laughs> brownie with cookie crumbs mo uh, mocha cream with dark chocolate coffee bean and cinnamon cream with apple jam and cookie pieces so you get two of each of those um, so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get four out on the plate here which ones do you want you just want to get them out yeah just get get all four of them out on the plate <laughs> But who would feel like little pieces of pie? These are a pro uh, product of Belgium, but they're distributed out of Hebron, Kentucky. Is oh, that how you yeah, pronounce Hebron. it? Hebron, yeah. Hebron, Kentucky. Cincinnati. Yeah. I, 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 have we ever driven through there to get to Cincinnati? Mm -hmm. I've done computer we work up there. Oh, okay. Well, which one do you want to try first? I would think the the, the brownie. The brownie that's or the, the strawberry one? One of the two. The brownie seems like it would be plain. Yeah, so that's just um, the chocolate. Two pieces, so you get four more. We're gonna cut off. Oh yeah, they're, and they're very soft. I was expecting them to be hard, but they're not. But uh, two pieces are 180 calories. So, yeah. so this is a brownie with cookie crumbs. I got as equal as I could. I'm gonna cut them. I'll cut them that way next time. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is just okay. Huh? Yeah, it's not something I wouldn't. No. Mm. You do get... High it, texture. The texture is almost like a truffle. Yeah, it's very creamy. It's very creamy. But it... Uh, and you do get the little pieces of the crumbs. Yeah. But... It does have a nice chocolate flavor, but it's not strong enough. It's very light for me. I, 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 just, I, didn't, like, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily like the flavor of the chocolate. I didn't think it was brownie at all. It didn't no. taste like brownie. It was just a very light chocolate flavor. So not, not you could tell it's not an expensive chocolate. Right. You know? It, it, tastes, uh, it tastes like an artificial chocolate to me. Yeah. Okay, let's try the, um, the strawberry cream with That's red stripes. chocolate stripes. I'll pick this one like this. Now that I know how soft they are. Yeah. I cut right down the center. No, that one does have a. You definitely get strawberry. A, almost a cheesecake like flavor. I know. Mm -hmm. Again, I love the texture. It's very creamy, very smooth. The center is very creamy. Mm -hmm. Creamy and smooth. The outer part is. Um, it has like a, a chocolate shell. Yeah. It's, it's true. not crisp. But it's not hard. Right. Um, it's just firmer than it's the It's just answer. firmer than the, the, the center, center because the center is it what it almost that one is almost like whipped. Yeah. It's like um strawberries and cream. It's it's like a whipped cream. Yeah. It um, has that little sourness of a like a I guess the cream has a sourness of like almost like a cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that one it's good. It's good. I once like again, I, I like it better than the first one, but I do think it once again is light. It's on a little light. Yeah. yeah. And so let's do the a little without the coffee bean. Yes, the cinnamon cream with apple jam and cookie pieces. This is made by Gallery Candy. It's gallerycandy.com. I hope I give you enough good because it's uh, mm -hmm. no problem. A little smaller. It cut weird. Mm. Very strong apple flavor. And cinnamon. 
Mm-hmm. That one's really good. Mm-hmm. And they brought the flavor on that one. I don't know why the other ones are so light. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a whole box of just those. Yes. Those are delicious. Mm -hmm. Those are absolutely, I like everything about that. Uh, I like the apple flavor. I like the cinnamon. Um, yeah, the do. little cookie pieces. The texture of it, once again, it's mm -hmm. like a truffle texture. Now, it almost tastes like a, an apple pie. Or yes. they. Kevin's right. They could have a whole box they could sell a box of just those yeah, and it's excellent. delicious the other yeah. two are eh. yeah that one's excellent yeah that that is terrific so this last one is mocha cream with dark chocolate coffee bean let me give you the chocolate, the chocolate. how did i know that i was going to get the coffee bean that's well, okay you like coffee beans i don't like i don't mind the flavor of coffee beans i just don't like the texture It's not bad. It's very coffee. And did you notice you never heard a crunch? No. Was it soft? It was soft. I think no. it was fake. <laughs> it probably was. There, there was no. It literally. I, I thought, oh, I must have pocketed the the coffee bean, and I'll get to it in a minute. No, it must have been a piece of chocolate on top. It probably was. But it says dark chocolate coffee bean. Oh, it's dark chocolate. That's what that was. Uh, see, I didn't get dark chocolate because I didn't get the bean. Okay, so <laughs> that, okay. So both of us did not, because it does look just like a it coffee does. bean is on top of it. We both thought it was an actual coffee yeah, bean. It was actually, actually a dark chocolate shape yeah, of a coffee bean. I didn't look bean. that close. Um, <laughs> I really like the flavor of that one too. Yeah, I do too. It, it, I don't like it as much as I like the apple, but I do like it. If you like a mocha, a mocha flavor, once again, truffle texture, very, very whipped up texture, like a, uh, a pudding that has that whipped texture, um, that that is very good. So, I personally would not buy this again. No, I don't think there's enough flavors there to, to but, yeah. I mean, for Valentine's, you're giving this away to somebody for Valentine's Day. Yes. I think I personally would appreciate a, a mixed box of like Whitman's or- uh, I'd rather have Russell Stowe Russell or Stowe Whitman's. or something like yes. that. I'd rather have something like that I would than too. this. Yeah. Um, I think these will sell well. They I will because the packaging's- I think the packaging's neat. cute. I think a lot of people are gonna like them. They're gonna like the little pie pieces and they're gonna think they're adorable. But as far as practicality, I only like half the flavors in the yeah. box. Well, only half the flavors in the box are stellar. Yeah. Um, and the, that cinnamon cream with apple is the, is the best. That's really I good. think for eight dollars, it's not worth it to me no, to way only too much. like four of the eight pieces. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy a really, really, really nice box of chocolate for eight dollars. Oh, for oh, much less than that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is very expensive. Look at the prices on a box of Whitman's or Russell Stover and you won't pay near that yeah. much. Uh, you're paying for the, the cute factor. Right. Uh, I so forgot now, we were having gummies too. <laughs> oh yeah, we're having some gummies too. These are the Valentine's Day edition. Haribo Gold Bears. Kids and grown-ups love it. Uh, the Happy World of Haribo Gummy Candy. This is four ounces. It was only a dollar. This has raspberry and pineapple. I believe we've had raspberry before. I don't know that we've had the pineapple. Four servings were in the container. 13 pieces are 100 calories. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I like Harbo because they're, they're small. They're teensy weensy. So let's do a raspberry. I was going to say, just touching them, they're a little tough. They're tough. I mean, like rubber tough. They're made in Turkey and manufactured in Rosemont, Illinois. www.harbo.com. I didn't like that raspberry at all. It's, I first of all, they're tough as can be. And the flavor is very chemical-y to me. I, um, I don't mind the raspberry, but it's the toughness that gets me. It's way too tough. Yeah, you get it all and they're good and soft. Huh? This is the pineapple. And okay. these are out for Valentine's Day, so they should be very, very, very fresh. I like the flavor of that one. It's like chewing on a piece of rubber. Mm-hmm. 
There are many, many Harbo that I like. Mm -hmm. That don't have that same texture. They're soft and everything. We had them in the uh, Harbo, a package of Harbo in our December likes dislikes video and we loved them. We were crazy about them. Um, they're from Germany. Terrific. I would never get these again. No, they're too tough. If I'm going to go for a gummy bear like this, I'm going to buy the Albanese brand. Yeah. Um, and Albanese, um, of course, this is specifically made for Valentine's Day. Uh, I know you can get packages of all different flavors, but the Albanese, that's a good thing about it too, is you can get packages with all the different flavors. Um, and they do not, they're, they don't, I mean, if you ate a bunch of these, these are going to wear on your teeth. Yeah, you're going to be like, mm, I'm tired of eating these. Yeah. You're not going to want any more just because you're tired of them. You will, literally, because they're that tough. What and the you, flavor of the raspberry is not that great. What did you think of the pineapple? The flavor? pineapple one I didn't mind. I like the flavor of it pretty decent. I mean, I, I liked it, but I didn't like the raspberry at all. The flavor is good, but it's so tough that it would keep me from eating yeah, it anymore. immediately turns you off. So yeah, like these, we will not even keep these. No. We will we'll, uh, give these away. We have family. People wonder, what do you do with the stuff you don't like? I've answered this before. We give it away uh, because we have family that, that know that we are clean. <laughs> Frankly, we're clean and they don't mind. Uh, they'll eat these. Uh, but yeah, we, these are so tough that it's not any fun to eat them. Uh, it takes all the fun out of it just because you're yeah. chewing it. So they'll last you a while. Yeah, they'll last you a while, <laughs> but there's there's nothing redeeming I don't think about no, I don't think so. Uh, so honestly, we would pass on both of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I would just yeah save you some money. Cost on one and flavor, and then this one's the texture and flavor. And you know what? If you're at Target and you see those uh, uh, right around the corner, they have some beautiful heart-shaped boxes mm -hmm. uh, that you could get if you want to spend that kind of money. Uh, but I know for a fact that you can go to Walmart and buy a box of Russell Stover or Whitman's, and it doesn't cost half of that price. So it just depends on uh, where you want to spend your money. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps you out and thanks for watching.